folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this looping background using the fractal noise effect. I will show you how to create a black background with white specks or a white background with black specks. So let's create a new composition. Come up here to go to Composition, New Composition, or use the keyboard shortcut Command N. 1980 by 1080 pixels is fine, 29 frames per second, 10 seconds, does not matter what the background color is, click OK. First, create a new solid layer. You can right click anywhere in the layer panel and select New, Solid. You can also come up here to the menu and select Layer, New, Solid, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Y. The color does not matter, just click on Make Comp Size and that will make the solid the exact same size as your composition. So I'll click OK. Select the solid layer in the Layers panel, come over to the Effects and Presets panel, click in the search bar, and just start typing in Fractal Noise. So F-R-A-C-T, you'll see under Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. Just go ahead and drag it right onto the composition. We'll start by making the black background with white specks. For the Fractal Type, I'm going to keep it at Basic, and I'll keep the Noise Type at Soft Linear. For contrast, I'm going to crank this way up. So I want to bring this way up here. I'm just going to click in there and type in 750. Now for brightness, we're going to go the other direction. We're going to go in the negatives. You see here it goes into the black. I'll type that, negative 350. I'm going to twirl down transform. Next to scale, I'm just going to click in the number and change it from 100 to 25. Hit enter or return. If I click on the space bar, you can see there's no animation yet. So let's make these specs move. To do so, we're going to come down to Evolution Options, twirl that down, then under Random Seed, we're going to press the Option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC and just click on the stopwatch so we can create an expression. I'm going to add two expressions. The first one is Posterize Time. So I'm just going to type in lowercase p, start typing in Posterize Time until I see it, hit Enter or Return, and I'm just going to type in number 6. This changes the frame rate of the effect to 6 frames per second. I'm going to add a semicolon at the end of that, hit enter or return, and type in a second expression, time asterisk or shift 8, and just enter in a number. I'm just going to enter in 10. I'm just going to click off of it. I'm going to hit the space bar to preview. And now you see we have this looping animation, black background with white specks. And if you want a white background with black specks, all you need to do is adjust the brightness. So it's currently set to minus 350. If I just click on that and change it to 350, hit enter or return, and now we have a looping animation, a white background with black specks. And that is how you can use the fractal noise effect to create a gritty looping background. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.